Christmas to you all. Well, I know it's not yet Christmas, but it's just a few days to Christmas, and as such, I can say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in advance. So, in this video, I'm going to be recommending five books that you should consider picking up during this festive period. You know, it's December period, people are on breaks and on holiday, and one of the things that people do mostly is to read books during the festive period. And uh, because of that, I've decided to couple together to bring together the books that I've read and this year that I can verge for, that I have a strong recommendation for, I have a strong belief for them that it's going to be a very good and impressive read to whoever pick them up. And as such, I've decided to make this video on five books that you should consider picking up reading during this festive period, during this December period. And I hope my cap is fine because I'm just wishing you a Merry Christmas here. So these are actually books that I have picked up from different genres, from different category. I have fictions here, I have non-fiction, but sadly enough, I do not have poetry, but I'll see if I can hide when poetry as a video goes on. So these are books that I've picked up from different genres because I realized that some people actually love to read books in a certain genre more than other genres. And so I've picked book up in non-fiction, in fiction, in fantasy, in horror, in science fiction, in uh, love stories, and uh, I think crime thriller. So the first book that I'm recommending is The Poor Founders from the Sky, which is the true story of three lost boys from Sudan um, by Elephant Sundang, Ben Sundang, and Benjamin Ajak. You know, this is one of the fantastic memoirs that I've read this year. It's a non fiction book, and I love it so much. If you've been following my channel before now, you must have seen my review of The Pod Founders from the Sky. It's one of the fantastic books that I've read. It did tell the story of three lost boys from Sudan, now they trek thousands of miles, trekking from Sudan to Ethiopia to Kenya until they eventually arrived in America to the help of the International Rescue Committee. It's a book that I admire so much and I recommend it if you're a lover of memoir, if you're a lover of non-fiction, if you're a lover of books that pull you into a lot of emotions, books that are very emotional, you know, it's a real life story of war, because we all know that the Sudan Civil War took place in 1983 in Sudan and it's one of those longest ever war recorded in the history of Africa. So I'm recommending The Port Founders from the Sky. It's a fantastic book and I'm very sure you would love it if you eventually consider picking it up. So that's about that on The Port Founders from the Sky. The second book that I have here is The Crack Lock Saga, Far or Four, book one in the series. If you're a lover of fantasy novel, you're gonna love this. This is one of the best fantasy novels I've read this year. It's fantastically written. It has a lot of magic in it and it has a lot of movie quality, very cynical. And I can recommend Odin Percent is Far and Four and this actually topped the second book in my list of five that you should consider picking up during this festive period. The fantastic fantasy for lovers of fantasy. So that makes my number two in the list. I've actually made this list from number one to number five. So number one is more like the greatest book, then number two, then number three, number four, and number five. So I've arranged it in order just to suit in for my recommendation. And the third book that I have here is Doxed After Death, Manor of the Mage by George J. Ramso. This is the first book in the series. I haven't heard much about the second book series so far, but this is an horror novel for people that love horror, that love vampire. It's very fun, just as you can see from the title, from the cover of the book. It's a fantastic book and it's well written. It actually it has a blend of it detailing into the archaeological adventure of some um, vampire creature. Uh, following on the protagonist, Sophia Kennegan, it's actually a story that began when an archaeologist, an alcoholic archaeologist, remove a site from the chest of a well-preserved plague victims and after everything it leads to a lot of problems they begin to search for solution begin to find a way out for them to get themselves free out of their mess that they've got themselves into it's a fantastic vampire novel and reading it actually made me fall in love with you know vampire novels just like reading fan 4 made me fall in love with fantasy novels and i was like oh yeah any fantasy i come up again with i would love to read it and this also, any vampire novels that come up again with, I love to read it. Then that's actually made my number three in the list. And the fourth one that I have here is Edge of Perception, a paranormal science fiction love story. 
by Steve Linger. This is actually a science fiction novel that has a blend of fantasy, that's a blend of magic. And I love a particular character in the book called Tokola Shea. I love its characterization and I love how it blends together with all the characters and how they're able to make a fantastic story out of it. So, it's a perception, a Panama science fiction novel with top of my number four in the list of the books that you should consider picking up during this festive period. It's well written, it's fantastically written. I recommend it for your Christmas enjoyment. Then, the last book here, which is now number five, is Disturbed in the Annex by Elephant Sundang and Judy Hay Vestin. This is actually a memoir and it's a follow-up book to the pod finals from the sky that I mentioned as number one. This actually they told the eventual journey of those boys after they arrived in America from Sudan. Are they able to get themselves settled together? Are they able to get a job? Are they able to you know, start life fresh in America? Are they able to acquire all of the things that they've hoped for while leaving Sudan for America? And their high hopes, their expectation. You know, one of the things that struck me the most in the book is the fact that once the boys were leaving Sudan, once they left Sudan, they have this perception of what they think of America. The food were told to them that it's free, education is meant to be free. And uh, they have this perception that money are kept in pillows and you don't have to struggle so much. Things are made available to you at your disposal. So this follow up their hopes, expectation and what they get to realize after they arrived in America from, um, from Africa. And it's actually written from the perception of two authors, one Elephant Sandeng and the other Judy A. Bestin, with each of them touching deeply into the matter of how they're able to transition, how they're able to cope with this, how they're able to cope with that. It's a fantastic book actually, and it's made number five out of my recommendation for Christmas that you should consider picking up during this festive period. And oh, I realized that I'm lacking behind in the genre of poetry, and because of that, I love to recommend this book that I have here. It's a little known book, The Eden Peace and Poem by Eric Brooks Speed. This is actually a fantastic book, a poetry anthology that I love so much. Why do I love it? I love it because it asks different blends of life issues encapsulated in it. You have a poem talking about relationship, you have a poem talking about another aspect of life, and you all have much of the aspect, you know, talking about the themes of life, human condition, inscribed in a single book of poetry. And it's well written, actually. And for people who love poetry, aside from all the genres I've mentioned, so you might want to consider picking up Eric Brooks Smith's The Hidden Peace and Poem. I left a link to all of these books that I've mentioned in this video in the description part of this video for you to get a copy directly, either purchasing them on Amazon or on Barnes and Nobles or in any bookstore closer to you. Yeah, that would be fun. So these are my list of the five books that you should consider picking up during this festive period. I have The Polar Founders from the Sky, A True Life Story of Three Lords by Swim Sudan, and I have The Craft of Saga Farm 4, which is a book one in the series. And hopefully you love this book, you might want to pick up the other book in the series. And also I have Edge of Perception, a paranormal science fiction love story by Steve Linger, and the Star of the Dead, Manor of the Mage by George J. Ramsell, and lastly, The Stopped in the Annex. So these are the books I'm recommending for you to pick up during this festive period. They're the books that I've read, and I can say that they are very, very good. And I'm very sure that if you eventually consider picking up one or two or three of them, you would love it and you'll find it to all that I've described and even beyond what I've described. And as such, I want to wish you again a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And I hope you enjoy my cap. I'm not sure if it makes me look a bit ugly, but that's fine. So I'm hopeful that you enjoy your Christmas. Please send me gifts, send me books. And if you have any recommendations that you have for me, I would love to pick them up. Leave me a comment in the comment section if you have any book you'd love to recommend to me for Christmas celebration. I myself, I'm looking forward to reading during Christmas time and I have this here with me, A Long Way Gone, Memoirs of Boy Soldiers by Ishmael B. And all the books too that I bought in time past, Library of the Dead, um, The Great Gatsby, that I'm looking forward to reading up. So I'm also accepting recommendations. Please leave me a comment in the comment section if you have any books that you have for me, you want me to pick up during this festive period, I'd love to. Once again, I'm wishing you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And please, if you're here to click on the subscribe button, I want to urge you to please click on the subscribe button over there. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you can get to the five every time I release new videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Goodbye.